training. Uh, it's a little windy. Of course, I'm on the uh, dike, the flight control dike along the uh, Susquehanna. Uh, I can walk from the house to here because of gas prices. I ain't out running around in, in my truck up in the mountains, so I've been doing a lot of training hikes on the uh, dike. And I can go walk from wilkes Bear clean down to uh, Anacoke and back. That's, that's a long day. That's an 18-mile day. Uh, I've been walk, trying to walk 10 miles. Uh, been having some foot problems, let alone my knees. But i uh, been working on that. I got these... Uh, Socks for plantar fasciitis. I broke even out my old uh, cane hiking shoes because my other hiking shoes, I don't know if they need broke in, but they've been hurting my foot. And so I went back to my old shoes that are falling apart. Uh, as soon as I started out, out it started sprinkling, so I went back to the house and grabbed my poncho and uh, so anyways I'm out for eh, maybe six miles just stretch my legs I got 25 pounds on I know it's not my full, full weight that I'll be on the trail and uh, anyways that's what I'm doing so you see from the background that I'm on the dike. And, uh, and you see other people walking the dike for health and whatever. And uh, so I'm just out for you know, a leg stretch. Um, I've been trying to get to the woods, but uh, last night we had high winds here, hard rain. So who wants to be out in a tarp or a tent in the rain, pouring rain? I mean, it was a galley washer. Some places in Pennsylvania, they said they had tornado, uh, but... The uh, weather service has to go out and investigate. They'll probably say it's not, but there was roofs and stuff tore off. And, and uh, when we had a over that way, we had a tornado. Yeah, lack of a lot of damage. So anyways, we don't get them here often when we get them, you know, I pity some of the people out west, you know, just like in down Tennessee and uh, those areas have got decimated, almost the whole town, a lot of death. Uh, If you hear a buzzing noise, I think this is a fish ladder. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't label everything. There's pumping stations along the way here. Pump the storm water into the Susquehanna. Uh, I think they need more holding ponds. But, you know, I wasn't the engineer who designed this mess. But it is, does give us a walking bicycle path. Uh, to get out. And during the pandemic, 
pandemic, I was out here walking. There was a lot of people out because they were so bored in the house. You wouldn't believe the people during the pandemic was out here. On a nice day, you see tons of people riding bicycles, walking. But when the weather is crappy, you only see the diehards. So, I got this cheap pack with 25 pounds in it. It's just training weight, but I do uh, want it for uh, uh, experiment on a uh, mini kit going out in the woods. I'm trying to get uh, down my weight down. If any of you guys know what ne who Nesmic was, uh, he had a 27 pound kit. Well, I'm working on a 27 pound kit or less. Now this is pack has got uh, summer weight sleeping bag in it. I don't have like a 30 degree. 32 degree sleeping bag in there. And it's got a tarp. Uh, tarp will manage for, you can throw it in different configurations, but yeah, it's not quite as comfortable as a tent. You don't have bug uh, netting and, and stuff like that. But when you're trying to dial down your weight, you got to give some things up. So, any of you guys uh, think that you just grab a bunch of lightweight camping gear, go on the Appalachian Trail and try to do a through hike without any training, I got news for you. You need to train, and you need to train hard. Every day, you may not have to walk to mountains or take uh, trips every day but you need to walk every day with a pack on and long long hours uh, strengthen your back muscles your shoulders up toughen them up your feet uh, I didn't think I was gonna have foot problems on the trail but I had them on and off and uh, of course I had injuries uh, first pulled a hernia slipped it into the rut of the AT strong floundering to try to get out with the back on pulled the hernia to come back off the trail got that fixed up trail you got to be mindful of the weather and you know an injury and it's no shame to get off the trail get fixed up and go back on if I was gonna hike the trail again I would like to I would have hiked it in sections I know I wanted to start a through hike and do the through hike but the thing with the through hike is you have your destination in front of you, but it's time. Uh, you're always worried about your deadline time. And uh, if you do section hikes, your time is limited to what you scheduled for. But you get to see more. Uh, there's a lot of side things to see. 
calls and all kinds of things. And, and some of them I had to walk past because I had my deadline. I would have liked to see them falls. Some of them were just right there. I got to see them. There was other things along the trail that I would have liked to have went and seen. But my wife and I, I kind of planning some trips down because she wants to see the Smokies uh, and the Shenandoah. So we may take a vacation and go down. I'm hoping I can get her talked into to, uh, saving up some money to go. So, because uh, I like her to see the things I saw. Well, anyways, we'll catch you later. Thanks. Like, subscribe, share. You know, 